Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast. The Lovell Beach House, crafted by the visionary architect Rudolf Schindler in 1926, is a cornerstone of modern architectural design and an epitome of the international style that swept through the early 20th century. Located in Newport Beach, California, this iconic structure not only demonstrates advanced structural ingenuity but also encapsulates an experiential dialogue between architecture and its coastal environment. Approaching the Lovell Beach House, one is first struck by its distinctive use of concrete, a material choice that was revolutionary at the time. The house stands elevated on five concrete frames, resembling pilatus, which lift the main living areas above the sandy beach and surging tides. This elevation is not merely a functional barrier against floods, it creates an imposing aesthetic that mimics the freedom of the adjacent Pacific Ocean, its robust pillars standing as testament to modernity's reach. The exterior of the house is characterized by stark, white surfaces, intersected by horizontal windows that wrap around its facade. These windows do not merely invite light, they frame the ever-changing seascape, transforming it into living art that decorates the stark interiors. The interplay of light and shadow throughout the day animates the minimalist interior spaces, an effect Schindler meticulously calculated. Entering the house, one ascends a staircase that coils alongside the concrete supports, a physical transition from the earthy ground to the airy living spaces above. The journey up the staircase is a rhythmic ascent, paced by glimpses of the ocean peeking through intermittent windows, each view slightly different from the last. The main living area, once reached, is an open-plan space that embodies Schindler's vision of fluid, unobstructed living. Here, the boundaries between different living functions are defined not by walls but by subtle shifts in the floor levels and ceiling heights, directing the flow of movement and interaction. Furniture, much of it built in to maximize space, is simple yet functional, and always directing attention back to the views outside. To the west, a large sliding glass door opens onto a spacious terrace, blurring the line between indoor and outdoor living. This terrace acts as an intermediary space, capturing the salty breeze and sounds of the waves, truly merging the house with its environment. It is here that one feels most connected to Schindler's ethos, living with nature rather than in separation from it. Schindler's innovative use of space and material is also evident in the more private quarters of the house. Bedrooms are strategically positioned to afford privacy while maintaining a connection to the natural surroundings. The use of smaller, strategically placed windows ensures privacy but also frames specific views of the landscape, turning each window into a picture of the outside world. The Lovell Beach House is not just an architectural structure. It is an experience crafted through the thoughtful interplay of light, space, and material. Schindler's design philosophies, his emphasis on the holistic integration of form, function, and environment, are vividly alive in this space. The house does not impose itself on the landscape but rather converses with it, a dialogue that speaks of balance and beauty. Walking through the Lovell Beach House one is continuously reminded of Schindler's mastery in creating a living space that is both a shelter and a viewpoint, a place that is as much about looking inward to the human experience as it is about gazing outward to the embracing sea. This house is more than its concrete form, it is a manifesto of modern living, a physical embodiment of the idea that our habitats should enhance and celebrate our connection to the natural world around us. Architectural historian Elizabeth Smith praised the structure, stating, The Lovell Beach House is not merely a residence but a bold declaration of form and function merging under the banner of modernism. Schindler's use of elevated concrete frames was not only innovative for its time but presaged the widespread adoption of pilotus in modern architecture. Philip Johnson, a luminary in modern architecture, commented on the house's spatial dynamics. Schindler transforms concrete and glass into a symphony of light and space, a precursor to what many of us later tried to achieve in our works. His manipulation of form to capture and interact with the Californian landscape was nothing short of visionary. However, not all views were in favor. Some critics pointed out the challenges inherent in Schindler's designs. Architectural critic Robert Slayton noted, 
While Schindler's experimental use of materials was groundbreaking, it also led to practical difficulties. The harsh marine environment posed a threat to the longevity of the concrete, requiring constant maintenance that the original design did not anticipate. In a discussion on the house's role in architectural education, Professor Emily R. Thomas observed, Schindler's Beach House has become a crucial study subject for architecture students, not only for its structural innovations but for its lessons on integrating environment and architecture, teaching us about the possibilities and limitations of material and site. These varied perspectives provide a holistic view of the Lovell Beach House. While lauded for its architectural innovation and its challenge to traditional forms and functions, the house also invites criticism regarding its practicality and comfort. Together, these views form a nuanced appreciation of Schindler's work, reflecting the complexities of architectural innovation and the diverse responses it can elicit from critics and admirers alike.